this device proves to the pilot that his senses of direction cannot be relied upon when he is unable to see sky or earth. I shall demonstrate this to you. Which way are you turning? I'm turning right. I'm turning right. What's the instrument? I'm turning say? right. The instrument says right. I'm turning right. I'm turning right. Instrument. The instrument says right. I'm turning right. I'm stopped. The instrument says right. I'm turning left. The instrument says right. I'm turning left. The instrument says right. I'm turning left. The instrument says zero. I'm stopped. Well, I don't know whether I believe the instrument or myself in this case. There were some pilots who said, I can fly into a cloud and clouds and not worry about it. I can fly by the seat of my pants. Not true. Anyone who got into clouds eventually would have vertigo, not know which way was up, and they would spin in and kill themselves. It was one of the great barriers to reliable air transportation. And Jimmy was the one who proved that you could fly entirely blind. He practically designed the instruments that were used. He said he went to different companies and said, I want this kind of an instrument working with this kind, so that you would have an artificial horizon and you would have some idea of how you were turning, even if you couldn't see anything. And so it was a two-place aircraft, and it was very, it was given an extra size wing, so it was very stable. Um, there was another pilot involved who could see at all times and they had a hood over Jimmy's cockpit. Then the problem was they were waiting for fog. Well, about six o'clock one morning, my mechanic awakened me and said, the fog we've been waiting for is in. You can hardly see your hand in front of your face. So uh, he, we pulled out the airplane and I took off and made the first flight in a real zero, zero fog. About that time, Word had gotten to Harry Guggenheim. He said, uh, I'd like to see a blonde flight. I said, well, I'll make this one without Ben. He said, no, he said, you put Ben in there because there may be some airplanes around. And so uh, uh, Ben Kelsey rode in the front of the airplane and uh, with his hands up. And uh, I closed the hood and took off and landed uh, with Ben Kelsey with his hands showing. The only thing I could see was my instrumentation, my instrument board. And it was lighted up electrically, like a little electric light so I could see it. That was truly the beginning of modern commercial aviation. That's why we can fly to California overnight if necessary, or you can fly through fog. And this also was very important in flying uh, during World War II when you know, we had to do some of the flying at night. So this beginning of the whole, I think, the American aviation industry, they still use somewhat the same uh, instruments even in uh, jet planes. <laughs> 